vision, tree-lined streets with sidewalks, unique and functional architecture, community interaction, and spectacular views. Hi neighbor, here at Smith Ranch. Smith Ranch neighborhood is giving affordable housing to our local workforce. So what this means is that um, this is a deed restricted neighborhood and they are um, focusing on giving priority to people that live and or work currently in the town of Silverthorne. Short term rentals are not permitted here at Smith Ranch. Long term rentals are approved with um, after applying with the town of Silverthorne in regards to that and the housing authority. Um, ownership of other property in the state of Colorado is not allowed in order to qualify here. So here at Smith Ranch, uh, you can get a anywhere from a two to a four bedroom a townhome, duplex, or single family home, uh, two and a half to three and a half baths, 1,300 to 1,600 square feet. The first ones were completed in 2020 and uh, the construction continues and there will be some more completed in 2023. Uh, there are about 200 deed restricted uh, units homes within the Smith Ranch neighborhood. There are 135 occupied homes and 50 under construction. Homeowners Association fees for a single family home here is about $190 a month. A duplex is $180 a month and a three bedroom townhome is $286. And the reason that's more expensive is because the Homeowners Association fees also cover the building insurance, landscaping and irrigation for that townhome structure. What are the pros of being a lucky one to be chosen uh, from the lottery to purchase a property here in Smith Ranch? Well, the pros are it's affordable housing and um, it's going to remain affordable workforce housing. I say affordable in quotes because it's still very expensive. Um, a single family home up to 600,000, a duplex under 550. Um, I think on the low end, a couple of resales that we've seen uh, with the townhomes is still around $350,000. So I say affordable, uh, take that with a grain of salt, right? Um, other pros are the sidewalks. Not many communities like this have sidewalks and uh, mail delivery clusters of uh, mailboxes so that they don't have to go to um, a local post office. So that is another pro. Uh, also, there's trails uh, right out right out your back door here. Um, there's some great spots to, to hike and bike and meet your neighbors. Another pro of the Smith Ranch neighborhood is this uh, empty parcel behind me that is zoned for commercial. And uh, it's a next, another phase of the development happening here at Smith Ranch. And they're hopeful to have a grocery store, um, a child care center, and uh, those are gonna be the two biggest um, bookends for this commercial space. One of the biggest cons here is that if you were not a Silverthorn resident or employed in Silverthorn, that you are not going to get first priority in the lottery for the available properties. And what we're looking at now is resales. Um, everything is under contract, but there have been a couple of resales come up. So if you're interested, um, the very first step is to get um, approved with the Summit Combined Housing Authority because they are the ones that determine whether you as a homeowner qualify uh, to purchase based on your income and your work. 
What are the closest ski resorts and mountain towns to the Smith Ranch neighborhood? Copper Mountain at 19 minutes, Keystone at 20, Breckenridge at 33, and Arapahoe Basin at 26. Luckily, there is a Summit Stage bus stop in the Smith Ranch neighborhood, so you can leave your car parked here, catch a ride.